it's that time again. Time for lazy content. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be going over today my teammate Fitz's tournament run at uh, Beast Mode's uh, Circuit Series tournament. Uh, he has one of these every week. For those of you who don't know, Beast Mode, fellow content creator, who shouted out on the channel before. Uh, he has a Discord where he runs these weekly uh, small events. They're pretty fun. Uh, I haven't played in one yet, mainly because I've been missing out on entering every time, but maybe that'll change. I don't think there'll be one this week because of uh, Ribbit getting pushed back to this weekend. So if you're interested in playing a tournament, definitely go uh, check out Beast Mode's Discord and check out, um, of course, E3's Discord because Ribbit 1 is this weekend. I'll probably link Beast Mode's Discord in the description as well. Uh, but anyway, Fitz topped or won an event uh, with fire zombie which is pretty neat i always thought this deck was super cool really loved it so we're gonna be looking at all of his replays first up here we've got um teammate on teammate violence so we got fitz versus yomero um both of these uh teammates of mine of course fitz playing the far more based deck in fire zombies than this cringe abomination <laughs> okay okay we're not gonna go too hard against uh, uh with the glad beast hate here but yeah you all know, you all know how, how I uh, how I feel about this deck, and Fitz just absolutely demolishing with this crazy going second hand of Space Typhoon into Fire Dog into Stardust. It got the rekindling for next turn, so all he really has to do is just keep the Stardust till next turn, and then activate rekindling, and it's uh it's not gonna be good. Uh, Yamara just sets everything because he's a really bad spot. Uh, Glad's is a weird deck. I feel like you can just never afford to play around Heavy Storm with that deck. Um, which is a big reason I don't, I don't play it, because, um, yeah. Anyway, the, Yomero's gonna make a really good play here. He's going to chain to the Rekindling Book of Moon on the Stardust, um, which is kind of a shame for Fitz, because he drew Judgment for turn. If he had it last turn, this would have been, uh, this would have been lights out, but he's gonna eat this Torrential, so very good play for Yomero there. Fitz just gonna Torrential the summoning of the, uh, the Darius is probably right. He goes in with the Rekindling. Makes another Stardust attacks. Um, yeah, Yomero doesn't draw anything useful. I feel like... Hmm. It was probably right to not summon this Goblin Zombie. Because you got to think about the possibility of War Chariot uh, being used on your Stardust, of course. So he's just going to hit. It's going to get shrinked in damage. And uh, I think this was a mistake. Because you know he's doing this because he has War Chariot. So you should just save the Judgment for the War Chariot and trade with one extra card. Um, because then you'll you'll still get to negate, like, the Mermillo, right? Like, they'll tag into Mermillo, you negate with Stars, they'll try to War Chariot, you'll just Judgment the War Chariot. Um, and I think it actually ends up mattering here, because now he's just gonna get War Charioted now. See, if he had, uh, if he had held the Judgment for the War Chariot earlier, this wouldn't have been an issue. Fitz's still in a pretty good spot, though. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. He was actually in a really bad spot, but then Yomero forgets that... Besties in his grave, so he could just tag into the second Darius that he does play and go Geysaurus. I think he plays second Darius. Um, so, but yeah, now Fitz is just going to win. So, <laughs> kind of a weird uh, both sides misplaying pretty significantly in game number one. But ultimately, Fitz is going to come out with the W. So, game two, not a great hand for Fitz. Again, bricked on dad. He's got this rekindling that's currently dead. Yomero's going to tag into Bestiari, but they're both Dust Tornadoes, so that's actually pretty good for him. Uh, he's going to end phase Dust the Deep Prison. Unfortunately, the Starlight, or the, um, the Book of Moon's still there, so this is going to be stopped. And, man, this was lucky that, uh, that Yomero didn't have a Glad Beast, otherwise this probably would have just been GG with Geysaurus there. I might have just not even set the Deep Prison, honestly. But it just gets spaced anyway. And then a soul release is going to be used. And it's actually relevant because he has the rekindling in his hand. Fitz now setting this. Oh, this is super odd to me. I know it's a useless card. But, like, I just do not think you should set bluffs versus versus glads ever. They're just free pickoffs. Um, but he's going to go Geysaurus. And, yeah, that bottomless trap hole is a bit late. A bit late. So, rough game number two for Fitz. Let's see if he can pull it back in game number three. These tournaments are single elimination, so it's kind of obvious <laughs> that uh, the answer to that question is probably. So, I mean, this is going real well for Fitz. Just going to blow away two of the back row with uh, with Raikou plus Trune or Dust Tornado plus Heavy Storm. Then have the dog over the Laquari 
Kind of has to make Goyo to get rid of the low attack Raikou on his field, and yeah, this is super over. He's got the mind control into the normal summon, and Yomero's dead unless he's randomly running Gores and Glads, which I don't think he does. He is crazy enough to play Torrential and Glads, which is a little bit of an unusual choice, but <laughs> Gores would be just way out there. So, anyway, Fitz is going to pick up the W. Definitely happy to see that because uh, Flambo Zombies is a base deck, and... All my homies hate Gladbees. Sorry, Omero. It's just it's just how I feel. Uh, anyway, second match up against... I don't know if this is, this is Lane or, or how this is pronounced, but... Yeah, so it looks like Vayu Turbo, at least to me. It looks like Vayu... Yeah, it looks a lot like Vayu Turbo to me. Uh, he's going to go over the Goblin. Fit's going to get into the Plague, obviously looking to do a Mind Control play here to out that card trooper cleanly. Oh, actually, no, he's just going to go for the Book of Life and the Hottest. You know what? Yeah, that's probably better. It's probably better. <clears throat> Still just chilling on this Mind Con, too, which isn't bad. Brain Control going to be used. Uh, probably just Chain the Wing Blast to pitch the Bazooki here is very good. Because Vayu doesn't really want to be dropping back, drawing back into a Caius that they uh, already summoned. It's not like not like frogs where they're, they're just totally cool with that. Actually going to stack... Go for Stardust here, Flip Return, all right, GG, yeah. RFDD is a crazy card. Absolutely, that card is nuts. So, game number two. Gonna go Allure of Darkness, just set one pass. He now has the Vayu with the Dark Refer, which is pretty good. Probably just gonna attack. Wants to get this Dad drop before he, um, before he uses the Vayu. Unfortunately, he's going to set both. In. He's gonna choose to Pro Set his Storm, which I would never do here. Um... You can just set Dust Tornado, right? And it's like, fine. It's like the equivalent of having the Pro Set Storm, pretty much. Um, but he's going to get completely blown away by Heavy Storm. Pit's going to go into Goyo Guardian, steal the Greffer, so just in a, an insanely good spot here. Burial is going to set up the Dark Armed, but it's going to be met with a Bottomless, and uh, target the back row there was a little bit of a strange play. I don't know why he wouldn't just target Goyo. I guess maybe if you want to bring out the Vayu thing after, but, like, you're still going to be crashing your dad into Goyo at that rate. I feel like you should just pop Goyo, because if the back row is a battle trap, you can just pop their whole field then, and then that's probably the right play. Um, but instead, he's going to have to go for the Vayu synchro, and it's just going to get hit over the by the Goyo, which, of course, you can't take because it was not properly synchro summoned. And this set oppression is not doing much. He's going to mind con the trooper. <clears throat> that's pretty much yeah, that's the end of the game. You summon the magician attack for game. Oppression is not doing anything here. All right, third match up against Lord Voldemort himself. So probably another Vayu Turbo game. I would assume. Fitz wins RPS because Zombie Master set one. Hmm, is he going to use this wing blast? No, he's just going to hit. Kind of makes sense because you could probably assume that it's hamster. And oh, playing really hard into Book of Moon there. Fortunately, he does not have it. But the oppression is going to stop the Stardust. Phoenix Wing going to stop the oppression. Fitz just has every read in this game. I don't know. <laughs> He's just he just knows what the back row are somehow. Absolutely crazy. He goes for it and it pays off completely with the dark end of the Stardust. Now this is just super oppressive. Vayu Turbo does not want to just be staring down at Dark End when they have this handful of set monsters. Uh, so he's just going to set everything. And the Dark End is actually going to eat a deep prison. Probably smart. Um, you just have to get rid of that thing, but Fitz has an RFDD set. So this game might just randomly end. Now... Oh no, he just doesn't attack with Stardust. Okay. Alright, here he should have made Mistworm. Uh, <laughs> I was watching this, and I'm like... Telling, or I'm like telling my my teammates like he could just make Mistworm here, right? If it, or at least uh, was I watching the replay? Because I don't know if I knew if this was Plague Spreader or not when I was watching live. But then again, he might not even play Mistworm. Someone checked the deck list at the beginning of the video. A lot of people don't play that card, um, and I don't understand why. Because I feel like Mistworm comes up a lot for me. People say it never comes up. I'm like, that card comes up like not even one in ten games. It comes up like one in. One in four or something for me. It, like, I feel like I make Mistor a lot. Um, but anyway, Fitz is going to hit into another D prison, but then he just flips RFDD and goes for game. So, uh, yeah, that's that's just the end. RFDD, pretty good card, once again, gotta say. 
Going to... This is game two, right? Game one was long and weird. So, set MST, set Compulse. Compulse is an interesting tech card. More and more people are on. Just going to be summoning some Armonites. Hit in. Oh, but it's hits into a hamster. That's that's rough. Rough. So, Fitz is going to go after a back row here. Unfortunately, it hits like the worst one. Because the other two are actually not chainable. Uh, here he goes for Reaper, which is probably the correct choice. Hits in. Then set Torrential. And this is a little bit of an interesting spot because you feel like you really kind of need a Torrential here if he makes Goyo. Uh, maybe you could play Greedier with Torrential in hindsight and just like hold it. Might have been correct. Might have been correct. Because he's now going to go for a Bayou play and with the Oppression set, this is a big, big issue for Fitz. If he'd had the, if he'd held the Torrential, this actually probably wouldn't have happened. So, I think that ended up maybe being a mistake in the moment. But I can see why you would want a Torrential there. It's just the exact, like, situation here is really rough, given that he has oppression in this established board. So, maybe a slight misplay. But it's it's always hard to tell in the moment, right? Um, so Fitz is going to pass. And then Lord Voldemort going to set a Raiko. I think, okay, Fitz dusts, and then he chains Compulse. Oh no, he just lets it go, okay. So the Gores is going to get dropped, but it's going to eat a Raiko. So maybe not the strongest Gores, but still pretty good having the Caius over the Trooper. And now you just set three, and you're chilling here with the, the Phoenix Wing, the bottomless, the Solemn Judgment. You don't really have to play around much. Uh, fortunately for Fitz, it's not like a hamster here. That would probably be the worst case scenario. Um, and yeah, Lord Voldemort kind of drawing dead here. <laughs> not going to lie. Going to eat a bottomless. I'm not sure he needed to bottomless that, but he did. Uh, Deep Prison going to eat up the Caius. So kind of pulling himself back in the game here. The Judgment going to be used on the Caius. And here's the situation where him having Dark Armed would have been maybe really bad. Because that judgment puts him at three darks. He could drop dad, pop the turtle, and essentially trade like three for one with the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast and the turtle. Uh, MST just going to be used, but there's actually no follow-up play. I guess you're just using MST here to try and stay alive or something. I don't know, this was a weird play. I don't know why he summoned this and attacked. He got punished like as hard as he possibly could too, because it turned out to be Hamster. Although I guess if it's Raikou, maybe... <sighs> I don't know, it's not if it's Raiko and you set it and he flips the Raiko, it's like not really much much better for you though. I don't know. He kinda just drew really bad. Um and this one is over. Fitz has lethal with the crash turtle going to Bazuki hit for game. So that is going to be match number three. We have one more match in the grand finals, Fitz versus Ace of Spades. Um I forget what it was Ace of Spades was playing like Light Sworn, I think. Yeah, I think he was. All right, so Fitz going to go first. Ace of Spades has a decent hand. Got that recharge right away. Going to just set, try to bait out the Raikou. Going to succeed in baiting out the Raikou. Probably just drop Trag here. And uh, Yeah, okay, he's going to drop Trag. But there's actually a brain control to get rid of it. I'm a little curious why Fitz didn't Mind Con there. I guess Mind Con's better if he sets Raikou. Which he does have a Raikou in his hand, and he didn't set it. So maybe maybe it's actually a sick read by Fitz, but like Brain Con could just win you the game later too sometimes, so I, I don't know. It's a tough choice. Fitz just can hit in with everything here. The D Prison's actually going to out the Stardust. Uh, you definitely don't expect the main deck D Prison in Light Sworn. So Raikou's going to get rid of the Turtle. Book of Life going to be used to get rid of one of those Light Sworn names, and Ace of Spades is drawing really dead, but it's kind of how it goes with Light Sworn sometimes. If he ever finds, like, a win con, he does have this cold wave. He's got the Sark for the JD, so Fitz is now on a bit of a timer. Uh, popping the set monster with Rykob. I feel like you just go after Turtle every time there. Hmm. Bit of an odd play to me. And, yeah, now this is looking real good for Fitz. Uh, he's got Goblin plus Plague. to and Axe, search the Mizuki, just doing the combo at this point. Getting in for big name. Yeah, this is just lethal. This is just game over. You know Gores and Trag are both gone, too. So, Fitz going to take no game number one before Ace of Spades is going to be able to get to that Cold Wave JD play. Game number two, going to start with Lylos at one. 
I feel like I would recharge every time. I don't know. There, there are people who play Light Sworn who don't just shotgun their recharge, and I don't really get it. Like, I guess he wants to go for a Celestia play here, but it's obviously not going to work. And, I don't know, I feel like a resolving recharge is just so value, but... Like, here he's, he's actually just setting it. Okay, now he's using it. Okay, he set it to play around Dust Shoot. I understand why he set it there. Um, but I don't understand why he doesn't just use it in turn one. I'm, I'm always using that shit turn one. Let's be real, let's be real. Uh, the skill drain, though, is going to be very good for Fitz here. Stopping the Lila Pop, stopping the Mill Effects, but he's getting pretty low. The Honest over, too. And he's very bricked in this situation. He draws Goblin. He's going to get over that... Uh, that Lumina, but we know he's drawing Honest this turn, so Fitz is just dead. <laughs> Fitz is just dead. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. The skill drain just wasn't enough. He was too bricked. He had double Kai's for turn, and none of it was doing anything. Here he's going to go for the dog. The dog is going to trade with his dog. <laughs> or the, the dogs are going to collide, you know. You know how it is. Um, so it's a pretty obvious Celestia play. I feel like I maybe just would have held the Gores. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough to say. Maybe you just need to eat the Celestia here. Um, Lila is going to be used... No, it's not going to be used. It's going to end phase wing, wing Blast the, uh, the back row. Rekindling. Okay, this is actually a very good rekindling play because they honest and then you just Kaius their monster. It's a pretty good trade. But now the JD comes to hand and that is not very good. Fortunately, uh, Ace of Spades is not going to be able to find a line to lethal here. So Fitz is actually in not the worst spot. He has plays here with the rekindling and the dad. He just needs to collide the turtle, I think, and then hit over something to get a tuner so he can put the dark in the grave. And then that's his third dark. And then Dark Iron will be live. He also has a Mizuki that he could use. I think he just opted not to here. Yeah, just gonna pop the whole field instead of Mizukiing. Um, and yeah, that's a pretty pretty difficult board. Probably should have made two Stardust. Just in case the opponent drew the second JD and hit over Stardust and paid a thousand, because that would have really sucked. But it's not gonna matter, just gonna draw Dead Celestia. So... Fitz, gonna walk away with the W. Crazy run. Absolutely very cool deck. So, definitely, definitely very hyped, very proud of my teammate here. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, become a channel member, share the video, all that stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.